Hi everyone and welcome to the freelance channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom email domain for your iCloud account. Now to get started, first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have an iCloud Plus subscription. If you don't know if you're currently subscribed to a paid plan, you can go ahead and log into your iCloud account and then scroll down to the bottom. You will see here your current plan. So right now I have iCloud Plus 200 gigabyte storage. So does this qualify me to have a custom email domain? Yes. So all the paid plans for the iCloud Plus uh, qualifies you to have a custom email domain. So right now I'm paying this for about 149 and this one will already enable me to create a custom email domain for my iCloud account. So that's it. Now, of course, you also need to have a domain name. Now you can purchase separately or if you already have an existing domain name, you can make use of that existing domain name. All right, so if you have those two things or those two requirements covered, then we can go ahead and proceed to the next steps. So the next step is once you are logged into your iCloud account, you have here custom email domain. You just click here. And then again, if you don't have your domain name yet, you can click buy a domain. So this will register your domain name to Cloudflare. Now I make use of Cloudflare so I can vouch that they're a very good and of course very affordable uh, domain registry. So if you don't have one, just click on buy domain. But if you already have an existing one, you go ahead and click use a domain you own. Now for this one, you also have two options, whether you would like to allow other people to make use of that domain name for their email address, or if it's going to be for your personal use only. So for this one, for this case, I'm going to choose only you. Then I'll go ahead and type in my domain name. Then click on continue. Okay, so step one, I already have the domain name. Step two is to add existing email addresses. Now, I don't have an existing email address set up for this account or for this domain name. So I'll skip that one and click on no email addresses. Then I'll go ahead and click continue. Okay, so now I'm being redirected to Cloudflare. So I'll just have to authorize um, iCloud to make changes to the DNS records on my domain. Maximize this one. Okay, I'll go ahead and click authorize. And then type authorize and delete conflicts so this is if there are any conflicts with your domain name that you're going to use you will have to confirm that you're authorizing it to delete or to remove those conflicts then go ahead and click authorize and delete conflicts all right so that's taken care so return to custom email domain settings I'll click on close All right, so what happens next is we need to verify the domain. And for that, we'll need to go to Okay, so we'll open our email. And right here you will see it's ready to use. Alright, so the next step for us to do is to add that email address. 
so I'll go ahead and configure one I'll just click on this plus sign and I'll go ahead and use info at the freelance channel.com then click on add email address all right so the options at the bottom you will see here allow all incoming messages so what happens is if you're going to tick this one any email sent even if it's not info at the freelance channel even if they're going to say uh, tests at the freelance channel.com you will be able to get it so it's a catch-all email address so I'm not going to tick this I'll make sure that it's only the info at the freelance channel dot com that is active then I'll go ahead and click on back then I'll close this one and let me just refresh okay so the custom email address has been configured so if we go to our cloud email I'll go ahead and refresh this one too if you go ahead and create a new message you will see that we now have here info at the freelance channel.com so we can now send using this email address so let's go ahead and test all right let's go ahead and send this Okay, I'll go ahead and open my Gmail. Okay, so we have successfully received the test email. So the custom email address that we have set up in the custom domain are now working perfectly very straightforward very simple steps on how you can set up a custom email for your iCloud and the good thing is there's no extra charges or there's no extra fees that you have to pay uh, as compared to Google workspace email or your Gmail account with a custom domain all right so that's it for our tutorial for today if you found this helpful and if you would like to see more tutorials like this then don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell button so you get notified every time we upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Florante. Live the dream life without leaving the home.